Apps averaging 81 points a game. They have a very inconsistent, like most, schedule so far this season. Some non-D1s. Huh? Well, yeah, they, they've learned how to practice. And that, that thing, that's a simple statement. A, a lot of dudes with five stars don't know how to practice. They learn quickly under Rick Barnes. Springer's hands got in there to force the turnover. The Ponds miss and it out, oh, and he erased it at the rim. I'm Air Ponds you. at it again. <laughs> he fixes more mistakes than any defender in college basketball, and he does it with a flair. Tom, the Tom, the recovery speed, the recovery length, the recovery quickness. My goodness, best defensive player in the country. Jacob Gilliard from Richmond led the major in steals last year. They'll be in Nashville to take out Van. Little lean in and Ball's pitching a shutout so far. Half 0 for 5 from the floor. And a turnover. And that's what they're just smothering you. This Tennessee is defensively. There's the playing off of two feet I talk about with Springer. It's a 1986. Tennessee 5 0 against the Mountaineers. Pond from 14. Tom App, they, 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 App State has to drive the ball and, and get Tennessee in a crowd and then play out of that crowd. Just not able to do it at any spot right now. That's a fourth turnover. A step in on the run out. And through the balance of what Mark Few believes in, how he brings himself as a coach, right there with Rick Barnes. I think those two programs, Tennessee and Gonzaga, have the best coach in college basketball, Dustin Kearns, as, as a young coach. He had a technical player, a Presbyterian, a kid at Baylor now, Adam Flagler, actually. Fulkerson looking for the lob back there. Doesn't come. Out to James. And as she came in, shooting just 34% on the season. They're 47% here in the first seven minutes tonight. Half can't make it. Getting to the free throw strike through two ball games. They have made more. They, they've made twice as many free throws as the opponents have attempted this year. That, that's Well, that's how you win games. Step back for Almonesi in the first field goal of the night for App. Quick answer the other way. Back to paint, build a wall. That, that's all on you. Another one for Almonesi. The Scobie pushes. And Tennessee gets five out offense tonight. App State, all five guys outside that three point line. You have to have the ability to find a crease and draw two and get kicks. If you can't, this lead's going to continue to grow. It's like running shell in practice. Just Absolutely. Get it around. We got a foul. Dustin Kearns is not happy with anything with his club right now. That shot went. Nobody in a black jersey put a forearm into the chest of a white jersey. Just a little shell shock, it seems, right now. These guys out of boom. One of my favorite college towns, by the way. And you spent some time there. Yeah, it's one of my favorite college fans. I was assistant <laughs> coach there for a year. I love Boone, North Carolina. Deion Johnson, what a... Two, just a big, strong, knock you in the nose as a young kid. He even has a little bit more in the midst of foul. This kid is a... He really attacks the basketball. He attacks him. He's a gap defender looking for an entry. Can't get it to him. There it is. Try to go high, lean, including six threes. Yeah, he, but he also gave it up about nine times in that game. Boy, to watch him play, though, he quickly absorbed how Rick Barnes sees the game. Oh, fast, wasn't it? You yes. Go on the peg. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. thought the logo, when you see it on the floor like that, it kind of looks what like looks whatever like. that thing is called. You are going old school. Yeah, we're dating ourselves at this point. Push it, run. Rick Barnes told us today that he, no matter which folky, has to be folky. And what I mean by that is he's got to play, be the hardest playing dude on the floor. I think he got the best time that they went full, full speed, five on five, up and down a 94 foot court over a two week period. Maybe almost a three. -week. Well, and then that missed time has affected Keon Johnson and Springer more than anyone. As good as they are, they just 
is a lot to absorb in that Tennessee system. Now they're coming on quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if one or both of them does the start at some point to score ahead of the defense. Rick Barnes doing a good job of pushing his guys into there each night. Now think about Tennessee's defense. I'm looking at two games. It's two quality games, like you said, Cincinnati and Colorado. They're only allowed. The Gators as a squad return to the floor. Hans trying to save it. Clock riding down at one. And that one. Half has been held to just 17% shooting in this half by Tennessee. And that number will get lower. Break led by Keon Johnson. His freshman classmate Springer gets cut off. Hans at the adapter. Tom, I don't think App State's had a clean look yet in this ball game. Everything is challenged. Beautiful turnaround. Yeah, just 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 jump up and make a play over here is what Epon can do. And a really good job of Tennessee on the post feed to stay off of Epon and allow him to operate. Paint touch, kick, drive again. Okay, guys that can go different positions, different strengths. Five or six, and continue to pound away at the power part of the floor, which is painted orange and Tom from Bowling Arena. Very similar to Rick Barnes' team in terms of how they play the game, what they value. They get the, the, the power part of the floor. They, a huge win against Illinois for bragging rights on Saturday night. Half has made just four of 21. They get five to rejection. Here's Vescovi to push. I just see so much competition for minutes on the floor. For this entire team this year. You have a, a really good seat. <laughs> you have a and great a, seat. Yeah, you have a great seat. But against Tennessee, they 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 support Bailey. Find the rim on his turnaround. Pines once again cleaning it up. Pines in the paint. Oh, that's beautiful. I haven't, I haven't seen that since whatever year that was 86, 87 season, I guess. Or that <laughs> well, we were too. We, we, we were sorry about it too. <laughs> Oh man, great time. Between times, the so. legs save, and then Pons with the block. Rick Barnes, they, they didn't get five-star guys. And talking with Coach Barnes, it was, well, these aren't the type of. Have stayed out of the Sun Belt. You know, the free throw line, different things. It just, they've been out-athleted tonight at about every shot. Good gracious, what a miss. You're the first person to ever stand behind that day in some tennis shoes. <laughs> and then lo and behold, and, and didn't they present him with a flag? Wasn't that part of the story? They, yeah, they, they did. And I, the whole time I'm thinking, surely our national security has escalated <laughs> since back then. Like, just <laughs> anyone can walk in and get behind the presser? Great time with Rick. I would subscribe to that podcast in a heartbeat. He and I talked about it one, one time. Doing a podcast. Not so sure we're going to tell just kind of crazy stories, but... You know, we're going to get together on this thing next time we go to freshman class overall across the country is as good as maybe we've had in the last 10 years. Talk about guys like Cade Cunningham at Oklahoma State, Evan Mobley at Southern Cal. Is it those freshmen have been able to adapt here early in the season? Well, they have. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the, the talent and the, really the big wings that are in. And if you can't move Tennessee's health defense, you're going to struggle scoring all season long against these guys. That jersey hanging in the museum, just as uh, just as Ferris's buddy did, staring at Monet's water lily. All five guys played as one. It, it, it's a, it, it's a concert at time watching this Tennessee team defense. How hard nosed and tough she was. And I, I really had a, a, a very poor averaging four and a half to five bait three game. I think this Tennessee team is going to be right in that wheelhouse. Into the paint from just from wins, just from a, a win total perspective. No, yeah, yeah, you know, you're, you're exactly right. And 
where the comeback they had against Notre Dame in the second half gives Big Blue Nation a lot of hope going for international. And this is the inconsistency of the schedule that they've had to do on the fly this season. Because then they've got Auburn three days before Christmas. And so it's really hard, I would imagine, as a head coach to get a good barometer on where your team is when you're playing NAIA schools. And then you turn around, you got to face Bruce Pearl's team. 